So, very good morning to all of you. Today I'm going to show how you use Mapper to do the single integrations, double integrations, and triple integrations. First of all, uh, uh, restart to clear the previous memory. And then click to do the integrations. You can click uh, at the left side panel, you have the calculus. First one, you can find the limit of function. This is a okay, normal derivative, second derivative, up to n derivative. This is a f prime x. If you define a function of f x, okay, using okay, this is the way you define a function f x. Okay, a you can change to the x, and then what is the function here? Let's say y here is an x squared, and then you can use okay, this button to find the f prime x f double prime x, f triple prime x of n derivative of your fx and then okay, if you have a partial derivative so this is delta x a function of f the functions of k, x and y okay, and this is the, the okay, del 2 f dx 2 mean fx x this is a mixed derivative del 2 del x del y f okay, this is a single integration Okay, for example here, let's say I click okay, see, see. Here. Integrate f dx. So you can integrate any function of fx respect to x here. Okay, for example, what it wants, um, let's say simple square root x. Huh? Okay, uh, square root, you can click it here. Square root x dx. And you get straight. Okay? Two third x to the power of three over two. Okay, if you want definite integration, then you may use this button. Okay, let's say from you want from zero to one on function of uh, let's say this one. Can you copy it? You see? Put it here. And that's the answer. Two thirds. Okay, um, I have done here, integrates x squared dx, integrate ln x, I integrate ln x here from 0 to 1 where I use on this button. And then if you want to create double integral, double integral, you just okay, uh, this one define, okay, define next double integral, this icon. This button. So put up what is a function that you want. Okay, is it respect to y first? Okay, and then x or x and then y. You may change it and you can change the value here. So <clears throat> for example, what you want? Simple x. If you want dx dy, dx dy. Let's say if you want a constant, it's zero one one two. Answer. And here, if you want, as shown here, this one two x second squared y dy dx. So two and 2x, huh? make sure you multiply using the pressing the command shift 8 to get the dot okay, stand for the multiplication. So this one again shift 8, second as you see the square, how you type the square, okay, for example you want here, yeah. second, you want square, z shift 6, so second square x, open, close. And then similarly, if you want triple integral, triple integral, so this button, okay. triple integral, okay. so, um, triple integral, so you can define the functions, okay, any function that you want. Okay. So, 
let's see, you want the, the symbol three imitate the here. Okay. okay, after you squat, uh, make sure you press the left button key to go down. So since squat three, let's say you want uh, let's say in spherical coordinate, so the row, let's say the P as a P. The theta as a theta. Let's say uh, go, let's say zero to three. P let's say zero to pi over two. Five divide just a backslash. Theta, let's say zero to two pi. Pi here. Enter. You get the answer. This is a spherical coordinate if you want let's say cylindrical coordinate insert then i want the spheric okay cylindrical coordinate okay, this is a cartesian coordinate okay make sure the ex exponent x huh? Using this one exponent. Okay, this is for square root. Okay, the exponent okay, e a. A here you change to the x. If you want the ln, log ten, log k. Okay, um, base b, cos tang, and so on. And then if you want square, uh, cylindrical coordinate, let's say um, here. X, Z, R. This is the R. Theta. I can copy this one. Cylindrical coordinate. Okay. R, D, Z, D, R, D, theta. Let's say uh, Z, 0 to X squared plus and then uh, let's say 0 to 3 theta let's say 0 to 2 pi pi go to the grid button a uh, grid panel and okay enter oh okay you notice cylindrical coordinate okay you must in terms of r Z and theta R in terms of the Z, okay. R and theta only. So x squared plus y squared, I must change it to R squared. Okay, so if you want all two fine. So basically, I revise back the Greek. Can you find all the Greek symbol from this case? For you to do the triple integral, this is double integral, and then this one is a definite single integral. Okay, and this is a indefinite single integral. Then you can chain all the limit, the integrands, and the order of integration, okay, respectively, according to your, okay, uh, which coordinate system to be used. This is a single integral. This one's a definite single integral. You can change the limit. Okay, even though you integrate respect to x, if you change, let's say, respect, this is y then this one become y and then the double integral you may change the order of integration this is x or y or k or r or polar coordinate okay, let's say polar coordinates and insert on the statement polar coordinate against polar coordinate you have this is r the r the theta Theta obtain it from the Greek symbol here. Theta, theta. Okay, let's say R uh, 
zero to five. Let's say theta zero or two to five. Theta zero to let's say five. You get the answer. So this is for this is Cartesian coordinate. This is polar coordinate. Okay. So also Cartesian coordinate. This is triple integral in Cartesian coordinate. This one's spherical coordinate. This is a cylindrical coordinate. So of course it may change the order of integration, the limit scale, and you can get the answer straight away. So give this thank you for your. Pensions.